Christians are not appointed to God's wrath. I need to do a little quick video on this thing because I'm seeing new people, new viewers coming along, and they come with this very arrogant, very prideful attitude. Uh, they hear me talk about the catching up of the body of Christ, and they'll say, there's no pre-trib rapture that's been debunked for years, and oh, whatever. Um, and they don't understand that there's a huge amount of work out there that proves that, yes, the body of Christ goes up before the Antichrist appears. And they'll get into this whole thing. That's a false doctrine. You know, I've answered every single attack on that doctrine and shown from the scriptures for years and years <laughs> that the body of Christ is gone before the Antichrist shows up. Uh, and But let's forget the debate here for a minute. What about this? What about that? Just hold on. Um, why? You say, I believe that Christians are going to go into the what they will call the Great Tribulation. It's not an actual title. It's a description of the time that's coming. You know, the time it's in Revelation chapter you know, 6 and then on through to up to chapter 19 is when it ends. Essentially, well, 20, you can really say, is when the thing ends. That's when the Lord comes down to the earth. Comes down to 19, but he sets up his kingdom in chapter 20 reigns a thousand years so 6 to 19 basically and then into 20 but see let me ask you a question if you believe that you have to go through that time period let me ask you this why why do you have to go into a time period where god's wrath is hitting the lost world do you ever think about that i mean what is the point the church needs to be purified so that you can prove how much holier you are than I am. Oh, well, some of people, they'll be looking for a pre-trib rapture and they won't be ready. So, so what? What happens if uh, people like me aren't ready and I go ahead and uh, take the mark of the beast? Will I lose my salvation? What happens to the uh, promises in Ephesians chapter 1 and in Ephesians chapter 4, which talk about being sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise until the day of redemption? What happens to that? Hmm. Start having some doctrinal issues. But let's look at some scriptures here very quickly, and I'll prove to you that no Christian can be here for that time. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 9 through 11. For God hath not appointed us, us, the body of Christ, to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as ye also do. Um, is it a comfort to think about going into this time of Jacob's trouble that's coming? Is that a comfort to you? Weird. You say, well, who's the wrath for then? If it's not for us, who is it for? Well, the Bible is very plain about that. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13 for this cause also thank we God without ceasing, ceasing, because when ye received the word of God, which ye heard of us, ye received it not as the word of men, but as it is in truth, the word of God, which effectually worketh also in you that believe, saved people. For ye, brethren, became followers of the churches of God, which in Judea are in Christ Jesus. For ye, have, for ye also have suffered like things of your own countrymen, even as they have of the Jews. Switches here from... Brethren to Jews, verse 15, who both killed the Lord Jesus and their own prophets and have persecuted us, and they please not God and are contrary to all men, forbidding us to speak to the Gentiles that they may, might be saved, to fill up their sins always, for the wrath is come upon the church of Jesus Christ. No, no, wait, no. For the wrath is come upon the saints, and I, I keep reading it wrong. For the wrath is come upon them them the wrath has come upon them hmm to the uttermost Jerusalem how often would I have gathered thee as a mother hand out her chicks under her wings and ye would not O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, that stonest the prophets and, or kills the prophets. And... The wrath has come upon who again? The body of Christ and we need to be purified by God's holy wrath coming in? No. 
the blood of Jesus Christ, God's Son, cleanseth us from all sin. But it's not true of the Jews. That wrath is appointed to the Jews. That's why it's the time of Jacob's trouble. I don't see how people don't get that. Daniel's 70th week are determined, you know, 70 weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city. Jerusalem, thy people. You understand? Well, no, not really. I still want to prove how holy I am by going through God's wrath. Okay. 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6 through 10. And ye became followers of us and of the Lord, having received the word in much affliction with joy of the Holy Ghost, so that ye were in samples to all that believe in Macedonia and Achaia. For from you sounded out the word of the Lord, not only in Macedonia and Achaia, but also in every place your faith to Godward is spread abroad, so that we need not to speak anything. For they themselves show of us what manner of entering in we had unto you, and how ye turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God, and to wait for the Antichrist when you see him, and the mark of the beast, and the uh, new world order, very important, oh wait, no, and to wait for his son from heaven, hmm. whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus, which delivered us from the wrath to come. We're waiting for Jesus. We're not waiting for the Antichrist. Okay? How can I make it more simple than that? Well, what about Matthew chapter 24? Matthew chapter 24 is written to the Jews. Okay? Them which be in Judea. Pray that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. Romans chapter 13, verse 9, does not mention keeping the Sabbath day. Okay? They were meeting in the, on the first day of the week, which is Sunday in the book of Acts. Uh, there's so many arguments that I've heard Oh, well, he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. Well, the, that's see the Antichrist, and then the Antichrist gets taken out of the way. No, it's the body of Christ that leaves. The Holy Spirit in the body of Christians, it, we are supposed to hinder the Antichrist movement. And we are stopping the Antichrist from showing up. That's why John goes up in Revelation chapter 4, and he's up there through chapter 5, and in chapter 6 the Antichrist is unleashed. Well, that's only John. It's only John. Okay, what about the 24 elders? Redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Okay, it's only John and the 24 elders. So there's 25 members of the body of Christ that are there before the Antichrist shows up, but there are no others. Okay, what about the angels round about the throne? <laughs> in the resurrection, they neither marry nor are given as in marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven. You see? I've been through it all. I've studied all the arguments. Believe me, the, uh, quote, pre-trib rapture issue is the strongest issue that I know about. So before you come along and you get like a little punk or something and say, oh, I can't believe that a preacher, you know, that knows the Bible as well as you, that you still fall for the pre-trib rapture. Oh, honey child. Okay, honey. <laughs> um, and I'm not trying to be proud or whatever. It's just I get sick and tired of arrogant little jerks coming along and acting like they know everything. You haven't had this amazing doctrine revealed to you. Because a lot of you you are actually correct. You are going into the time of Jacob's trouble because you're not genuinely converted. You're not actually born again. So you are actually doctrinally correct. If you're a lost, false, uh, false convert, lost, false convert, if that's what you are, then yes, you are correct. You are going into that time period. Um, but if you're saved, if you're born again, we're looking for Jesus Christ who's delivered us from the wrath to come. The wrath has come upon them, the Jews, the ones that have rejected Jesus Christ. That's what the whole future time period is about. The time of Jacob's trouble. All right. That's why there's signs. Okay. Seven seals. Seven trumpets. Seven vials. Why do we need to see that stuff? The just shall live by faith. And the time of Jacob's trouble are living by sight. And faith as well. But also by sight. Why did Moses and Elijah come back and preach as the two witnesses? And do signs and wonders. Why? Repeating a lot of the miracles that they did on the earth. Moses turning water into blood. Elijah calling down fire from heaven. You see? It's a huge study. But you get these arrogant little children coming along and they say, Oh, I can't believe you've fallen for John Nelson Darby's 1820 lie. 
I've answered all that stuff. I've answered it all. Well, Jesuit uh, Francisco Ribeiro, and the, I've answered it. I've answered it. Do some work. Okay, don't fall into the scriptures, the condemnation of the scriptures where it says the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. All right? Well, I've seen the video, and, and in the one-hour video, um, it, it showed me all of the errors of the pre-trib rapture, and I will no longer believe that. The pre-trib fib. Okay, if you're convinced with just an hour, then you really are not a student of scripture. All right, it's taken me years to go through all the arguments, and I've answered them all. No glory to me. No, you know, wow, look at me. No, but I have answered them. Because all of these post-trib people, be it mid-trib, post-trib, whatever, they all have one thing in common, and that is they want to wreck your faith in Jesus Christ coming back. They want to get your eyes off of Jesus Christ and get looking on the world, looking for the Antichrist to show up. I look and I see prophetic stuff coming, and I say, hmm, okay, you know, I can see these things happening. Good, that means that the catching up of the body of Christ is coming soon. So, not going to continue to rant here. Just wanted to put this little quick study together. The wrath is not for the body of Christ. Okay? The wrath is for the Jews. So, that is going to be it. Thank you very much for watching. And please, please take some time to study this issue. I'll put a playlist here at the end. I'll go like this. And I'll put the playlist here like this. Okay? There's the playlist. Uh, over 100-something videos or whatever else. Right there it is. On the pre-trib rapture, the catching up of the body of Christ before the time of Jacob's trouble. Educate yourself.